Hey guys, uh, <laughs> figure I just knocked this out tonight while I'm shooting Sean's video. Um, yeah, it's just bit, just been busy with the uh, studying for some certifications and whatnot. So I've got a rather unusual stack even for me. So I'm just gonna jump right in. Um, hope everyone's well. Well, yeah, this one I know I've shown before. We don't really need to say too much about it if you don't know it. One of our best albums, Nina Simone, Pastel Blues. Um, has this one's that got um, Strange Food and Center Man on it, but pretty friggin' awesome. Yeah, Be My Husband. There's a lot of really awesome stuff on there. Worth checking out. That's a five all day long. Yeah, hit, hit some thrifts. So I was trying to burn some gas and <laughs> repair and you see my wife's car still. Uh, so. I was out in the country, got some got some interesting stuff. Uh, this one's not even on Discogs, so, uh, got to add it, I guess. But yep, so Illinois, Texas, Finland by Ernest Aruga. Um, so strange about Dynaflex, so it's got to be like a like early '70s or so. Um, Private Press, which I've never seen Dynaflex Private Press, but I guess it did. Sounds uh, really really clean. So yeah, whatever. Um, Pretty interesting album. Uh, it kind of reminds me a little bit, you know, those Looney Tune, um, you know, old Looney Tune cartoons with, you know, the country setting. They're gonna play the fiddle music. Pretty much what it sounds like. Um, pretty good. I'll, I'll hold on to that. It's a good one. Uh, this one, this is, should be of very um, strong interest for Steve if you're watching. Uh, got this from Sean, so thank you, Sean. Um, I don't know, was that part of like Christmas or something? Uh, X I U X I U, which I believe is pronounced Shushu. Um, I believe they're out of California. Uh, there's a dude and there's a kind of re revolving cast members or whatever. Uh, so kind of experimental. Uh, this one they're covering all the Twin Peak music, <laughs> so it's kind of interesting. Um, it does have some of the. You can hear a little bit of that. Um, Vaporwave kind of a little, just a little bit that kind of influence, but yeah, you know, it just it falls more into the, the kind of the experimental end of things. But you know, they're covering uh, twin, the Twin Peaks music, which is also you know, is David Lynch. You know, it's kind of weird to begin with. So it yeah, you know, it doesn't deviate. It you you can it's recognizable is what I'm saying. Yeah, you know? so they're not deviating that much, but um, it it's a you know, it's a different take on it. It's pretty cool. Uh, co you know, colored vinyl, and these are, surprisingly, uh, they don't go for crazy money, uh, like a lot of newer artists do, so, yeah, worth picking up, uh, if you're into that kind of sort of thing. Um, I don't know if I give it, like, a perfect five, just, but it's, you know, yeah, for the, the fiddling, you're never gonna find <laughs> a private press, it's probably a four-ish. That one, um, I don't know, four, four and a half, four and a half, uh, just, you know, because it's, because it's like they're covering stuff. I, I don't know if I'd get a perfect five, but it, it's a damn good album. So I'm surprised Sean got rid of that one. Um, yeah, I finally found a clean copy. Uh, very dusty, but uh, cleaned up really nice. Uh, so VG Plus all around with, with the original hype stickers. I think this is probably the second pressing. It's a very early pressing, but I don't think it's the first. Um, yeah, so Carlos. Uh, or Walter Carlos, rather, uh, on Moog, doing uh, Bach. Um, I don't know. It's not as cool as some of his other stuff, but it's still kind of cool to have, and, you know, whatever. I, I think I paid, like, 30 cents for it or something. <laughs> whatever. Um, it hasn't aged well, let's just put it that way. So because of that being a 4, but it is pretty strong otherwise. Uh, this one I would give a 5, though. So th this was, you know, it was, like, 5 five records for a buck or something at the thrift, so I was like, yeah, this this was the filler one, and actually one of the best ones that I picked up. Uh, Hawaii Calls Instrumentals of the Islands. So, um, this is Wesley Edwards and uh, Al Kealoha Perry. Perry, I did kind of, I'd recognize that name. The other guy, not as weebly, I didn't recognize, but apparently he was a big deal back in the day. Um, don't know when this came out. I think this is the first pressing. 
But yeah, if you see this, pick it up. You know, a lot of the island music, you know, I, I lived in Hawaii for years, so a lot of it's pretty cheesy. Uh, this one's really nice. It's instrumental. Um, this is by far the best Hawaiian record I've ever picked up. So if you do see it, pick it up. I uh, wouldn't go way out of your way to uh, like order it or anything, but it, they are they're fairly cheap if you find them. But uh, yeah, that that's definitely by far my favorite uh, Hawaiian album there. And yeah, another thrift find. Uh, got a really clean copy of this one. German pressing of Heino Unschönes Regen. I guess that's Unschönes. So it begins maybe. I don't know. I don't, I don't know any German. Um, not what I was expecting. Uh, so I think like Marty Robbins doing his like cowboy songs, but yeah. You know, German, like at a German beer hall or something. Uh, apparently this guy's a little bit all over. He's got like one of those David Bowie chameleon kind of guy. Like he does a little bit of everything. This is, I think, his first or second album. Um, yeah, there's kind of like German drinking songs, by the way, of Marty Robbins. <laughs> you know, doing cowboy stuff. I guess that's how I describe it. Uh, pretty good, pretty good album, but it's just weird. <laughs> um, I don't know. I'd give it a pretty solid four, <laughs> maybe a little higher, but it's it's a little out there even for me. But uh, I've seen that book around the VC. I was kind of curious because I found such a clean copy, you know, you know, it's fifty cents or whatever at that shop. Um, CDs, yeah, just jumping in. Milkshakes. This was uh, I don't know if it was his first or his second band. So he had uh, the Mighty Caesars with um, Billy Childish. So that kind of lo-fi garage scene out of UK. Um, Shakes, I think they're pretty early, uh, 80, early 80s, 82-ish, give or take. Uh, this album, though, this is, I think, their final, final album, which is 93, give or take, 92. It's on that vinyl Japan. Uh, this will have a vinyl pressing. Um, and Milkshakes, I think, probably would lend themselves really nicely to vinyl. Um, vinyl Japan, despite being called Vinyl Japan, I pretty sure they're UK based. Uh, most of the stuff, even stuff I bought in Japan was pressed in the UK. Uh, but they, they're kind of like, uh, you know, Estrus or Get Hip in the States. Uh, worth checking out a lot of their catalog. But um, yeah, this was a really great album. Because um, a lot, yeah, you, you, if you're for, you streamed any Village Hall list, you'd recognize all these songs. So even though it's not the greatest hits. Um, yeah, he puts out a damn lot of material. Well, this one's pretty good. Uh, four and a half. Um, this one picked it up the rest some time ago. I have it on vinyl. I might actually prefer the CD copy, actually. Uh, the hi-hats all sound amazing on the CD. Um, better than the vinyl, I think. I'd have to really AB them, but I might actually hold on to the CD and sell the vinyl, but I don't think it really goes for much. But, um, yeah, if you don't know it, yeah, it's one of the, it's, it's a damn good album. Um, not not perfect, but at least a four and a half. It's definitely an essential jazz album. Um, not that hard bop, whatever. Uh, this one was an accidental purchase. Uh, I was buying some uh, Japanese. I was just in the mood for some Japanese taiko drums. Uh, Order Japanese taiko drums. Got Chinese uh, whatever drums. I don't know. Uh, very similar to Tycho, and th this goes for some money, so yeah, thank you for making a mistake. Uh, really good uh, recording quality on this. So this is Drums of Jingzhou Shangzi 2 by the Shangzi Jingzhou Drum Troop. Uh, so, main China, I guess, I don't know. It's like, there's not that many floating around, and the ones that are, are pretty much all in, in Europe or China. Uh, 30 to 50 bucks ish is what you're going to be looking for it. Um, but it's it's a really, yeah, it's hard to record like Asian, like those big Asian drum things. So they did a really good job of it. It's um, pretty intense. That's a really good album. A um, little bit like, uh, I don't know, those little Tiffany things and string, a little bit of that. But it's 90% drums. Pretty damn good. Um, I don't know, four and a half ish. It's 
yeah, I think it's, it's kind of hard to do a whole album <laughs> with drums, but this is definitely one of the uh, best ones I've heard. Uh, so you check it out if you can find it. But yeah, that was um, your big drum stand. Yeah, this one was in uh, the last uh, Sean package. So Lydia Lunch, uh, this is her spoken word stuff, early 90s, I want to say. Year is this? It's got to be early 90s. 89. Okay, that was close. Um, I, I'm really not a big. Sp I, I love Lydia Lunch, but I'm not a big spoken word uh, person. So I I don't know. Um, I'll probably give another listen or two. I, I don't know. If this, this is one I'm going to really listen to. It's and it is, it is pretty crass, so, uh, uncensored for a reason, I guess. Uh, so it's an interesting listen anyway. I'm not a really not a spoken word kind of guy. But, uh, kind of an interesting listen. But I do like that Jim Beam song of hers, which is kind of spoken wordy. Uh, still working through this. Still great. Stacks, uh, box set, awesome. And I'll just stop here. So, uh, yeah, again, picked up the thrift. Uh, again, I, I give it a pretty damn high score. Four and a half, uh, Gross Play and Plank, if you don't know the soundtrack. It's, it's one of, you know, it's... It, it's really up there in quality soundtracks. Um, other than Quentin Tarantino movies in the 90s, yeah, th this was this was the soundtrack. Uh, Violent Femmes, Blistering the Sun, Clash, got a couple Clash songs on there, English Beat, doing Mirror in the Bathroom, uh, Under Pressure, uh, you know, Queen, Bowie, whatever, uh, Johnny Nash, Guns N' Roses, Faith No More, we Care A Lot, Specials, Pressure Drop, the Weakest song is possibly the jam. Um, Absolute beginner is not not my favorite jam song. Um, Fat Los Fabulous Fabulosos. I don't know, Cadillacs, which is really good. P Town Sheds. Uh, Let my love open the door and a remix of the Thames uh, Blister. So, yeah, which I think is unique to this album, Blister 2000. So really strong soundtrack. Um, just one kind of weakish track. But even if he's not that weak, um, yeah, it's a fun movie too. Check it out. I'm gonna stop it there. So everyone have a great uh, evening, and uh, yeah, I don't know. Let's chill the rest of the evening here. Get some sleep. Uh, take care, and uh, yeah, check out. Uh, yeah, Sean did launch a new contest, which is, has a very short views. Um, I don't know how many entries you're gonna get because of that, but uh, yeah, check it out. Take care, everyone.